Hello, Princess Twilight Essence here. In today's video, we're going to get started on a collective message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be a message from the Power of Love activation, which we will get started with. And then we will move on to some mindful messages, some affirmations, gratitude, and um, we'll get Capricorn Spirit Animal messages from your Angels of Abundance, a Magic of Unicorns message, and a message from Beyond Lamaria. Hope this is inspiring. I hope these messages resonate with you. If they do, please leave in the comments. Let me know. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, just take what does and leave the rest for who it does. Um, these messages are timeless, so you can go back and watch them anytime you'd like. So again, this message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get started. Our first messages that came out, oh, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for further videos. If you've already done so, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Our first message we got is Vision. No matter what you see, the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. Then we got willingness. You are able to compromise in the end, if the end result is love. Then we got spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. And our overall message we got is empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. So these are the messages that we got from the Power of Love Activation. Now we're going to move on to our mindful messages. So we're just going to get a couple of shuffles, quick shuffles. Again, this message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have Capricorn in any of those placements, this video will or may resonate with you. If it doesn't, go over and watch your Moon or Rising or Venus signs. Those may resonate with you as well. So our first message we got conscious fears what I focus on I attract more of starting with today I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend time speaking or thinking of I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life. My own energy. I love being there for friends and family while staying true to myself. I don't let others' energy or mood affect my own. To help a friend in a hole, I don't need to jump in the hole with them. Simply reach out my hand and it's up to them to do the rest. Then we got dance it out. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I will play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look at a certain way. 
Simply move and feel as the stress of the heaviness begins to ease out of my body. And in our overall energy, we got follow my joy. Today, I will write down 10 things I enjoy doing, the things that makes me feel good and raise my mood. Then I'll pick one or as many as I feel guided to and do go do it. When I'm having fun and enjoying life, I am in a state of allowing for all that I desire. Now we're going to get some messages, some affirmations. And these are soulful affirmation cards to guide you through the ebbs and flows of life. The universe hears the whispers in your heart. Again, this message is for Capricorn. Food, rice, and Vetus. So the first message we got is divine. There is a gentle guiding force of life embedded deep within each of our souls. And we get to choose whether or not we listen to the innate gentle guidance that lives within and around each of us. There are no accidents, no coincidences. There is only choice. Trust that nothing is left to chance and rather that everything is laid out for us, perfectly plotted and planned, just waiting for us to say yes. Of course, we get to choose to trust its guidance and to surrender to the knowing that this is all part of a beautiful divine plan created and crafted specially to suit the very purpose for which your soul exists. Retreat and restore. So often we underestimate the power of rest. When our hearts feel heavy and our minds cannot quiet, it's often a sign that we are doing too much, pushing too hard, thinking too far. This concept of more is not always better for our souls. Sometimes the real power, the real abundance, is in the power of, le of less. And our last final message for our affirmations, we got surrender and release. The thing you're holding on to so tightly with an iron grip. This, let it go. Breathe in. Gathering the dust up from every corner of your body until you no longer feel it lurking deep within the depths of your soul. Pause at the top of your breath. And release it on a long exhale, a steady breath out. Pause again and ask, can you surrender to the final outcome? Can you surrender to how things come back to you? Can you surrender to the knowledge that they may not? Surrender to all possibilities, accepting that what's in store is greater than anything you could ever imagine. Surrender, dear one, and watch how you rise. Beautiful. Let me see the beautiful little lotus. I love the images. And this one has the butterflies for rebirth. And this has the eye for illumination in the moon. So again, we got divine, retreat and restore, and surrender and release.
moving on. Our next messages that we're going to get is from our Angels of Abundance. And again, this message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's go ahead and get a few shuffles. A message from your angels of abundance and these are all oracle messages I like to use a lot of positive and loving messages I don't like to get into those negative um, energies I like to stay positive and keep things positive for my viewers again this message is for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus So we got a lot of messages that came out. And I'm just going to go ahead and take them all. Pretty amazing. So we got quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create the quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Then we got windfall of abundance. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income. Every time you are paid, the love, this loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and in your future. Savings. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do not you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Have courage and accept. Ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, Prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. In the bottom of the deck, we got exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. And our overall energy is organized for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose, 
Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. So these are absolutely beautiful messages. We got pink, purple, blue, green, orange energy, like almost all the colors of the rainbow. That's absolutely beautiful. So it looks like Capricorn has pretty a little rainbow aura going on. Okay, so let's get messages from your spirit animal. Let's see what Capricorn's spirit animal is for the next 48 hours. Okay. Again, this message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Do you have those Capricorn placements in any of those positions in your birth chart? This message may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does and leave the rest for who it does. Thank you. Please don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button for further videos if you already did i greatly appreciate thank you for all your love and all your support i hope everyone is staying blessed and everyone is inspired and showing lots of love and gratitude So our first spirit animal message is a loon. Intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have. A way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Then we got the butterfly reaper. You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Pronghorn action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success and the bottom of the deck we got giraffe possibilities or sorry giraffe visionary rise above the earthly matters Gui glide through life with grace you are able to see the right path, stand tall in your self-worth, and love with a big heart. And our overall energy is the unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness and go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful messages. We're going to get a message from the Magic of Unicorns. And then our final message will be from Beyond Lamaria. Go ahead and get a quick shuffle. Again, 
And this message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If these messages have been helpful, please hit that like at the bottom of the page. I also greatly appreciate and accept donations. My cash app info is in the description box below. Thank you again for all your love and support. Blessings to everyone. So we got Create Your Vision number three. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. We got Manifest Your Dreams, number 22, which also breaks down to a four. Focus on your vision. Seek satisfaction and contentment. And then we got Law of Grace, number 41, which also breaks down to a five. Be your divine essence. Dissolve all in grace. Um, so angel number three, four, five. I would look up angel number three, four, five. That stands out in this reading. It's very important. Um, they are also, those are stepping stones. So let's go ahead and get some information on these cards. I like to read out of the book because I like to um, have you actually understand what you're reading. So, create your vision. Choosing this card suggests you are ready to start on another phase of your life. Before you take a step forward or possibly look for a new direction, your guidance is open, your heart and mind to all possibilities. This is important for you to take some time to think about your future. What makes your heart sing? What gives you true satisfaction and fulfillment? Reflect on these questions before you commit to the next part of your journey. Ask your unicorn to touch your third eye with its horn of light to enable you to decide exactly where you're going and what you really want to create or accomplish. Consider or write down the attributes you require to bring you about your dream. These may be charisma, determination, strength, inner peace, or any number of other qualities. As you focus on developing the positive energies you need, your unicorn will light them up in your aura. This will attract a cornucopia of good things to you. Your vibration and that of the planet are rising, and time is speeding up, so be prepared to accelerate toward your goal. With the assistance of your gracious unicorn, Everything is unfolding in divine order. Receive unicorn qualities for your vision. Sit quietly and invoke your beautiful unicorn. Sense a magnificent shimmering white horse in front of you. Gently reach out your hand to touch it and feel the connection between you. Tell it about your vision with enthusiasm. Your unicorn nods to acknowledge and has heard you. It bends its head and touches your forehead with its horn of light. Feel pure unicorn qualities pouring into your support, your dream. Picture your next step as if it has already happened. Relax and integrate the energy and thank your unicorn. An affirmation you could say, my unicorn leads me towards my dreams. Then we got manifest your dreams. Focus on your vision. Seek satisfaction, contentment. Choosing this card indicates that you are ready to bring forward a soul desire, something that satisfies you at a deep level. It may be to express yourself through painting or creativity, to look after animals, to serve in some way, or to heal or help others. You may want to explore the world, race cars, climb a mountain, invent new technology or teach. <clears throat> it is not what you ask for, but what is lighting you up inside you that is important. Your unicorn is answering your call and helping to bring your vision to fruition. It's a card of opportunity. 
So explore what you truly want. Consider what you give you a sense of peace, adventure, or joy. What would fulfill you? How do you feel inside when you think of it? Remember that anything is possible when you are clear and focused. Let go of all thoughts of financial reward or how you might personally benefit from your soul desires. For when you manifest them, your feelings of joy and wonder will automatically draw abundance to you. Ask your celestial helper to take your vision to source for a blessing. And remember that when you act as if something is already in place, you send out the energy to attract it. Manifest your dreams. Take a moment to relax and center yourself. You may want to write down your soul dream. Call your unicorn and tell it clearly what you envision. Ask for a sign it has truly heard you, perhaps a nod, a feeling of alight alignment or a breath of air. Ride with your unicorn up through the dimensions. Pause when you sense the seraphim singing round the Godhead. Your unicorn tells these illuminant angels what you want. Wait as they take your vision to source. Receive a shower of light and know that your mission is blessed. Return with your unicorn and thank it. In affirmation, you can say, I manifest my soul desires. And our last card we got is Law of Grace. Be your divine essence. Divine, dissolve in all grace. We are courted over lifetimes to those who we have harmed with thoughts, words, or actions, and to those who have hurt us. These soul threads draw the same people, conditions, and situations into our lives again and again. Grace is the solvent that releases them forever. When you choose this card, unicorns are inviting you to act with pure source love so that you activate the law of grace. Grace is forgiveness. If you offer it to someone who has betrayed you, your heavenly gift breaks the energetic link and sets you free. It also fills that old space in your heart with love and generosity. When you ask for grace for all that hurts or harms you have caused, consciously or unconsciously throughout your lifetimes, it also releases you and brings huge relief. No one is perfect, for Earth is a learning experience. If you feel you have acted imperfectly, forgive yourself. The person you were when then did the best they could at the time in those circumstances. Until you forgive yourself, you will attract punishment because you believe you deserve it. But source sees the divine in you, accepting you without judgment. See the divine in others. Look at everyone you meet with eyes of grace. Extend this to your friends, neighbors, acquaintances, all in the public domain and people throughout history. Grace enables relationships to transform with source love. And when you practice giving and receiving unconditional acceptance, all karma is erased. When you offer healing, send it under grace so that you are detached from the resolve. Grace asks God to take over for the highest good of all. Receive and give grace. Sit or stand with your palms facing upwards. Your unicorn is beside you, holding you in light. Your heart is open to source. The energy of grace is flooding you. Experience your divine essence. Think of others with unconditional acceptance. Set yourself and everyone else free. An affirmation. I accept grace and offer it to others. Again, angel numbers 345. Look up angel number 345. Or angel numbers 3, angel number 22, and angel numbers 41. For our last and final message, we are going to get a message from Beyond Lamaria. These are absolutely beautiful, beautiful cards. So 
get a quick sh shuffle. Again, this message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we got Reclaim Your Energy, number 42, which is also a six. So again, stepping stones, three, four, five, six. Reclaim your energy. And at the bottom, we got Manifestia, number 36, which is a nine. Six and nine. Reclaim your energy. Recapulation, owning your power, where you put your energy is your choice. Overcoming triggers um, through self-awareness, energy vampires, reclaiming your soul fragments, observing the observer, and shifting, shifting victim mentality. When we embrace an energy-aware lifestyle, we start to notice when we feel drained or ungrounded. We may feel flat or out of our center after spending time with certain people or places. Our energy is our responsibility and how we give it away becomes a conscious choice as we step into empowerment. But what about the fragments of self we gave away before we came to this awareness? Yes, it is possible to recover and restore yourself to wholeness. In shamic practice, recapturing... And reuniting with lost fragments of ourselves is called recapulation. Even when we can't become aware of the pat patterning that unnecessary chews up our energy, we may still feel drained by certain people or situations. When we grow our awareness further and take note of the triggers, we see it as always our choice where our energy goes. Although it might not feel that way, we may feel... We need to give it to people we most care about in a way that depletes us. We may hold a subconscious sense of obligation to others or belief that our own needs cannot be met until we have taken care of everyone else. We may run ourselves ragged, meeting deadlines, keeping customers happy, living up to expectations, or um, ensuring we have everything our children require from us. Many of us expand energy through drama, self-doubt, self-sabotage, anxiety or fear so sometimes we sense we are giving too much but we cannot see exactly how it is happening or that our effort may be unproductive even counterproductive but it doesn't have to be like this to claim more time and energy for yourself look at what it is and what isn't serving you mean to make changes in your external environment uh, more often the most effective change would be your perception of self what beliefs and learning serve you? What fear-based and limiting expectations are keeping you from your power? Uh, consciously choose and align yourself with the ideas that serve you, and suddenly you have a lot more energy for the meaningful, inspiring parts of your life. You will also have improved pres presence and more uh, for your loved ones. We, we became aware of our patterning through self-awareness by observing the observer. We can broaden our perspective of how and why we react to certain stimuli. The understanding helps us untangle ourselves from drama. We can distinguish what is relevant and real to us in the here and now from outdated stories. Instead of reacting when we feel triggered, uh, <clears throat> we can peel back the layers of those moments and claim greater understanding of ourselves in the midst that we have unwittingly subscribed to or that others have ascribed to us. Meditation can help us explore and take responsibility for our internal dissonance. Anything that takes you out of the busyness of your mind can heighten your perspective so you can see the bigger picture. 
There are other contributors to energy completion, such as not having enough healthy food or sleep. Diet and lifestyle. Diet and lifestyle are usually easier to rebalance than our self-beliefs. Illness and environments that affect self-esteem or where our soul does not feel at home or safe are other factors. We may need to outside help to reclaim our energy. But having an awareness to what is required is a step closer to being able to fix the problem and can start the healing process. When you're going through tough times, doing something that makes the soul rejoice, even something small is extremely helpful in boosting your energy levels. So the divine meaning to this card. This card encourages you to be aware of where your energy is going. If you are not at the optimal energy level, it is inviting you to consider the core of why this may be. You have the power to your own energy and choose where you direct it. Look at situations that trigger drama and anxiety to reduce energy loss. Detach from environments or people that are not healthy for you. It is up to you to make the shift. So realize you have the power to transform your life and choose healing and self-empowerment. It's time to kickstart the upward spiral to abundant energy and soul presence. And for our final message we got is Manifestia, number 36. Which is also a nine. Manifestation, sowing the seeds of your dreams, creating your reality, trusting. Apologize about that. I got an interruption. Trusting what you desire is already happening. Making magic, pollinating your wishes as above, so below. You can decide how you want to live. The universe is in full support of you choosing to step into the optimal version of yourself. Dream big, then dream even bigger. Now is a great time to start the projects you've been considering. All it takes is some pollination in the realms of making magic happen, we say. As above, so below. So start planting your dream seeds and nurse the soil with enthusiasm for what can and will be. Fill your dream in its entirely as it is, if it is already happening and let it go. Let all sense of control or direction go. Do not try to manage it. Feel how beautiful your dream's fruition will be. But then leave it alone to flourish as it will. Any sense of desperation or neediness will only falter its progress. Although the lessons gained as a result of this will bring growth depending on what you are ready for. Germinate your dream seeds in the present tense with positive terminology. Rather than thinking in terms of what you don't want, focus on what you do want as if you already have it. As the subconscious will hear the keywords and bring you more of this. Be creative with your dream visioning. Create symbols from the letters that make up <clears throat> excuse me, from the letters that make up your wish sentence. Incorporate the natural elements that resonate with your manifestation, <clears throat> such as fire or earth. Find meaningful symbols that align with your desired outcome. Add a rush of energy and charge it with an intention for the greatest good. In meditation, send them off into the heart space of the ether. Meanwhile, turn the physical soil in real time. Do the necessary preparation and relax into the knowledge that with your intention, that is enough. The divine meaning to this message that this card is encouraging you to dream big. Um, it comes as a reminder that you can choose how you want to live your life or how your life goes. You can manifest all you wish to create or release. It's time to sow the seeds of the reality that you want to experience. In magical practice, there is a saying, as above, so below. Work with this principle through affirmative thinking and higher intention. Then anchor or ground your dream seeds. Manifest from your heart. Overcome fear. Take strong, positive action. And let go of the outcome. 
know and trust your dreams are already on their way and expect to see results. Absolutely beautiful messages today. I hope these messages were helpful. I hope these message, messages resonated with you. If they did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe for all my new content. Thank you so much, and I hope everyone has a blessed and wonderful rest of their week. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.